A lot of folks actually do not ask American Indians or Native Americans, how do you prefer to be identified? And so I always think it's great when someone asks, how do you prefer to be identified? My preference is, of course, to identify myself as a citizen of the Cherokee Nation, because that is a political classification. I'm a citizen of a nation that predates the United States, and this nation is still here today. As most Oklahomans, I'm a, um, a Metsi, I'm a mix. Um, I'm a mix of Choctaw, Comanche, and Frisian, so the European side. This right here comes from the Northern Netherlands. But my, my mother's Choctaw, and it's a matrilineal matriarchal society, tra traditionally. And so I identify strongly with that because those were the clan towns that I grew up around. Uh, well, I'm a proud member of the Gila River Indian community in Arizona. Um, I identify myself as Native, 100%, uh, even though I'm actually uh, part Hispanic as well. My mother was Hispanic. Um, and, you know, being a proud member of that of that community has given me so much, so much culture, so much history, and a, a family that I can go home to anytime I want. I identify myself as a Lakota descendant. My mother is a member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe of the South da of South Dakota. We actually have uh, lands in South Dakota and um, family in North Dakota since the reservation straddles both. But these are the Lakota people, and oftentimes when we think of um, Standing Rock or the other Sioux tribes, Sioux becomes a predominant word. In fact, Sioux is a, is a, a, a strange way of, of saying enemy. So when we talk about ourselves, we talk about ourselves as Lakota, which means the people. And I've studied tribal identity for more than 20 years, um, especially in the political context and in terms of educating other non-Indians about tribal identity. In other words, we have African American studies, um, Asian American studies, et cetera, in an ethnic studies model. And often um, there's an urge to insert Native American studies into that larger model. But that really masks the difference between the other sort of ethnic studies topics or groups and tribal sovereignty, that tribes are nations. Just saying you're Native American actually erases your identity as a citizen of a sovereign political nation that predates the United States. So I don't think it's wrong to say Native American, but I think it's really great to identify a Native American by their citizenship in the sovereign nation that has survived and still continues to exist today. So that nation status really is unique to tribal governments, to, to Native people in the United States, and sometimes it's collapsed into a, a different civil rights or ethnic group model when it's really a sovereign rights and a, and a nation-building model.